on behalf of the inclusive Muslim communities of Calgary, represented here by leaders of community associations serving Calgary Shia and Sunni Muslims, we would like to express our profound gratitude to Calgary and to Canada for your support and sympathy in these dark times for us all. More importantly, on behalf of all the Canadian Muslims living in Calgary, we unequivocally condemn the aberrant or, and cowardly killing of two Canadian soldiers, Warrant Officer Patrice Vincent of saint jean sur richelieu and Mar by Martin Rulio, and Corporal Nathan Cirillo in Ottawa by Michael zehaf Brebeau. We extend our heartfelt condolences to the families of those two soldiers, and we share their grief. Our community includes some serving in our military and security services. This heinous attack attacked us all. We also condemn the inexplicable and dastardly assault on our parliament by Michael Zahaf Bridbo. We are thankful to Allah for protecting our government leaders and our members of parliament from any harm from such a cowardly attack. And we praise our security personnel, particularly the bravery of Sergeant at Arms Kevin Vickers. We as a community share the concerns of every Canadian about violent radicalization of some Canadian youth and we will continue to co cooperate fully with our government and security agencies to fight and counter criminal activity. We have all received calls from Canada's security establishment expressing solidarity with us and their concern for the well-being of ourselves and our children. They stand with us today here as neighbours and that speaks to the best of what makes us all Canadians. For that concern and for the expressed concerns of Canada's other faith communities and their leaders towards us, words cannot express our gratitude. We have answered many people asking the same question, what are we doing about this ourselves? The answer is whatever we can, whatever is asked of us. These criminals do not define us. In our mainstream mosques, we teach Muhammad's Islam, peace be upon him, an Islam that created the state that foreshadowed Canada in Medina, that elevated the rights of women and defended the rights and freedoms of all, Muslim or not, just like Canada. Medina to us was the first Canada and Medina's charter foreshadowed the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. And we proudly declare that Canada is the best representation of Islam's highest values and ideals on earth. Others may follow politically suborned forms of Islam and towards them we are heartened that our government and security services have realized that we are a resource. Canada's Muslims are not the problem, we are the solution. And so finally we say to groups like Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, ISIS or whoever uses the name of Islam for their political aims, your actions are not only abhorrent, cowardly, despicable and inhuman, but you are also unequivocally outside the teachings of Islam, declared so by Muslims around the world alongside us. Muhammad, peace be upon him, predicted a time when ignorant young men would be led by others, men with the hearts of demons, to the gates of hell, and that is who you, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, ISIS, and all of your aligned groups, that is who you are. Therefore, we will work to eliminate your beliefs and practices, not only from the soil of Canada, but we will also support all international efforts to eliminate you from the surface of earth because we are Muslim and because we are Canadian.